In this next topic, so Tesla has solved a lot of problems out there with the buying process, range, technology, and all this different stuff. But there's really only one problem that Tesla has yet to solve. And so we'll talk about that and what I actually think about that. But that one problem is affordability and pricing. So we'll talk about how they could probably potentially do that and much more. But if you're just joining in, my name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla hacking, as I like to call it. But basically, just getting the best on Tesla at the best finance rate. So definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. And so let us take a look at this. Shout out to AJ Agarwal. He posted this earlier today. Tesla has already solved, quote, dealership anxiety, online transport, direct buy at tesla.com. They've solved range anxiety, trip planner, auto routes via superchargers, which 100%. They just released a video today where superchargers have a 99.9% .9 uptime, which is fantastic. And it really goes to show that if you're driving around, if you're taking any sort of road trip, Tesla superchargers are the way to go. They're consistent and you have no anxiety at all. The next one is maintenance anxiety. Quote, the first 24 miles zero scheduled required trips to the service center and even maybe longer too. The only thing you really need to do within that first 24 hours from my opinion is maybe wiper changes, fluing, filling up windshield wiper fluid and a cabin air filter. Maybe if you live in other places that has a lot of pollution and smog like California, then every year it would certainly make sense. But the one thing that Tesla has to fix, the one problem that they still have yet to fix and have to, they have to kind of get over right now from what my perspective is is pricing anxiety. Right now, people, I feel like people still to this day think that Teslas are very expensive because of whatever the reason is, probably because the Model S and the Model X have been out the longest. But people don't realize after all the different incentives, after all the different credits, really Model 3, especially in California, $28,000, $29,000 after all the incentives. Like I just spoke to someone yesterday today where they were like, oh, isn't the, is, aren't Teslas expensive? And really after you factor in monthly payments, not paying for gas, the maintenance costs, and all these other things, then it really makes a lot of sense. And on top of that, this federal tax credit still confuses a lot of people. I'm still educating to these to this day, even my friends, that they don't understand how impactful this federal tax credit is. If you make above certain income levels, like let's say like $75,000, you're gonna get basically get an added refund check of $7,500 on top of whatever refund you're gonna get already, which is massive. And so really there's people out there that could buy multiple Teslas and get multiple added refunds back on top of it, on top of it. It's possible. It's worth it. And so I feel like a lot of people don't realize this and it could really further the Tesla slash electric vehicle movement at the end of the day. So pricing anxiety, I certainly feel is like the last hurdle at the end of the day. And so, you know, we've got to do our part. If you see someone out there buying a Tesla or about to buy a Tesla, if you own one already, there's certainly things that we can educate to try and realize that to help people that uh, Teslas are just not that expensive relative, I guess, to like Honda Accords, BMW 3 Series and things like that. But definitely some pretty interesting stuff. Let me know what your thoughts on it. Let me know what you're thinking. We're going to jump into the next topic. But before we do that, this video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link. Down below in the description is the Patreon link where you support the channel. So definitely check it out if you're interested. And also get access to the ultimate Tesla buying guide out there.